Hello Sens fans, welcome to another of my videos. And we are past the trade deadline, so uh, let's talk about some of the moves the Senators made and whether they were actually any good. So let's talk about uh, the Senators, which of course were sellers because we're not, we're not going to the playoffs or anything. So the biggest thing here is we got rid of three of our defensemen. We got rid of Goodbranson, we got rid of Mike Riley, and we got rid of Braden Coburn. Uh, Braden Coburn, no surprise. He's 36 years old, doesn't really bring that much to the team, and is probably a better asset for a team going into the playoffs. And Coburn, by the way, does have a Stanley Cup ring, so he'll be a good asset to the New York Islanders where he's going. Um, Eric DeBranson, you know, they signed him as a free agent, and, uh, you know, I guess he kind of played so-so. He played his game. He, he's more of a tough stay-at-home defenseman. Uh, he only managed to put up three points over 36 games, but also had a pretty ugly minus 13 rating. You know, but he did have that leadership quality. Uh, personally, I'm not surprised he's gone. I would have liked to maybe see the Senators see if they could maybe just keep him an extra season. Just, just give him one full season, see what he could do. And he could have been a pretty good mentor for a young guy like uh, Eric Carlson. Uh, it's not Eric Carlson, Eric Brandstrom. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... Again, it's not like he was that great of a player, and the Senators got rid of him anyways. Uh, the one player, though, that I'm quite disappointed that the Senators got rid of was Mike Riley. Mike Riley, uh, 27 years old, and he was, I would argue, maybe our second best defenseman after Thomas Shabbat. Uh, I mean, when you look at the Sens' defense, you know, you have Shabbat, who's up here. Like, he's an NHL superstar. And then you have this gigantic gap. And then you have to ask, well, who's the second best defenseman on this team? I would argue it was Mike Riley. And uh, this season with Mike Riley, you know, he played 40 games, had 19 points. Not bad. And he was only a minus two. Again, minus two, he's a defenseman, and he's like on one of the worst teams in the NHL. Pretty impressive. And if you add that to his numbers that he had last year, season when he played 30 games so his grand total as a senator he had 70 games and 31 points and was a minus 10 again 31 points in 70 games i think that's actually pretty good i mean that's that to me is top four material and you add the fact that he's 27 years old I and mean, he's not 35 so i think he had some more decent seasons in him uh, I remember last season, I was very disappointed when the Senators got rid of Dylan DeMello because I felt DeMello was a pretty solid defenseman. Uh, but the Senators traded DeMello for a fourth-round pick. And uh, he's playing pretty well with Winnipeg. And I think uh, the same story is going to be with Mike Riley in Boston. I think he's going to fit in pretty well and, and do pretty well for them. And uh, I'm disappointed. I, honestly, I really wish the Senators would have tried to keep him for at least another maybe three seasons or so. I think he's kind of earned it. And the Senators aren't hugely deep on the blue line. I mean, I know, like, they like to make this argument, yeah, but we have all these young players coming in. Yeah, but so what? These young players haven't proven themselves yet. And unfortunately, the Senators have this track record of saying once a player does prove themselves, let's just get rid of them for more draft picks. Pick us Pierre Dorian loves draft picks so that's kind of the story so we lost three defensemen well the good thing is we're bringing in Victor Mete and Mete is definitely I thought a very good pickup I mean we, we got him on waivers so we got him for nothing so that's pretty good uh kind of undersized he's only about five foot nine but he's 22 years old and uh, he's actually the same age as Logan Brown for instance so yeah, I think he's going to fit in pretty well. He's basically, I think at this point, going to maybe replace Mike Riley. But I don't think he's as good as Mike Riley. At least not yet. But he does have that potential. He is only 22 years old. So grabbing this 22-year-old on waivers, uh, pretty good. Pretty good pickup for the Senators here. And the rest of it, of course, just boils down to draft picks. So we traded Mike Riley. We got a third-round pick. Now, when we acquired... Mike Riley. Uh, we traded a fourth round pick to get Riley. And now we're trading him for a third rounder. So 
again, it's, it's not bad. You know, we traded a fourth round pick. We got Riley, who played pretty well for a year. And now we're trading Riley for a third round pick. Uh, so, so it's definitely an improvement. I still would have liked the Senators to try to re-sign him, but that just didn't happen. Uh, and of course, we're getting all these draft picks. We got two seventh rounders. The This came, the seventh rounder from Nashville was for Good Branson. We got a seventh rounder for Braden Coburn. Now, I know a seventh round pick doesn't sound that great. Keep in mind, Ryan Dezingle was a seventh round pick. So you never know. And uh, part of the Good Branson trade was also another defenseman, Brandon Fortunato. Never heard of him before, uh, but he's 24 years old. So far, he has zero points in nine AHL games. Definitely not NHL ready, but he was a pretty good college player. Uh, last season of college, I believe he had 28 points in 26 games. So the skill is there, but you know he does have to grow a little bit. And you wonder, well, this guy is 24 years old. He's not so much a prospect at that age, but you know maybe down the line he becomes a little bit like a Christian Wolanin type. A guy that's kind of just a seventh defenseman that's going to step in in case there's a lot of injuries. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely a sell-off here. Uh, we're definitely not nearly as tough getting rid of two of our toughest defensemen. So I got a feeling the Senators are going to be allowing a lot more goals coming in. Uh, but I guess in the long run with these draft picks and of course... This opens up room for the younger players, and I know that was part of the plan. So the good thing is, Eric Brandstrom is finally in the lineup full-time. At least that's what I've been told. Maybe Dorian's lying. But Brandstrom should have been a full-time player from the get-go. Why he was put in the AHL, put on the taxi squad, never made any sense to me. Brandstrom should be in the NHL. He needs to show what he's got. And he's played pretty well. And now that Riley is gone, the Senators are desperately going to need a little bit more offense. They need somebody to help out Thomas Shabbat. They cannot rely on Shabbat to do everything. As good as Thomas Shabbat is, he can't be the everything man for Ottawa. They need some support for him. And, uh, you know, of course, Jacob Bernard Docker, good prospect. Um, interesting to see what he can do, but... I think he still should play a season in the AHL before coming to the NHL. But down the line, I do think Bernard Docker is going to be a pretty decent two-way defenseman. Probably not going to get a lot of offense from him, but a very good defensive defenseman. So, as far as this trade deadline goes, uh, you know what? I, I really kind of give this a, a bit of a C, maybe a C-, minus, just because I'm a little pissed off that they got rid of Mike Riley, when I think they really should have kept him. And the redeeming factor is, yes, we did pick up Victor Mete, but we got him off waivers. We didn't have to give up Mike Riley to get Victor Mete. Uh, if we had simply kept Mike Riley, if we'd gotten rid of Good Branson and Coburn, that would have been fine. Kept Mike Riley. And uh, another surprising thing is the Senators kept Ryan Dezingle. Dezingle is set to be a UFA. I thought there's a good chance that he could be traded. And the fact that he wasn't traded tells me, yeah, maybe he's going to sign long term. I think Dezingle likes playing in Ottawa. He's obviously had his best years here. And I guess he's just comfortable. And maybe he likes the direction the team's going. So hopefully he does resign because I like Dezingle. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Trade deadline, yeah, a bit of a non-event. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing maybe what Mate can do in the future. And, uh, you know, good luck to these guys. I mean, good Branson. Hopefully he does well in Nashville. Going to play with Mark Borgieski. I hope Mike Riley does really well. I, You know, I wish we'd given him more of a chance, but what can you do? And uh, good luck to Brady Coburn. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.